hello guys so in this video i will teach you about how to use the sockets in your android application all right so this video is all about sockets so i will teach you how to send data from uh, your mobile or your you can say your smartphone to your pc server and then how to send uh, data from pc server to your android phone all right so we will uh, basically create a chat application all right so let's get started so guys uh, what we will do here is uh, let me sh uh, show you first of all we need an edit text all right to send the message and then we need a button here which uh, uh, upon uh, click uh, the messages will be sent to the PC server so uh, here I will let me say send all right so uh, now what we need to do is we need to go to a main uh, activity dot java here we need to first of all let me create a class so I will create a separate class uh, uh, let's say message sender and what here we will do first of all we will extend it with async task alright so here we what we will do is we need to implement the uh, do in background method alright so here what we will do we will just create our sockets and then send send the socket so how can we achieve that first of all let me say socket s and we need data output stream all right and we need print writer all right so here we will say s equals to new socket first of all uh, we will specify the ip address all right so uh, let me see my pc ip address IP config as you guys can see this is my IP address 192.168.10.41 alright so now it's uh, and we need a port alright so we will say port number 7800 now there is an error because we have to specify the cache block here try and cache block so we will say try get i exception alright so i will just copy that and we need a print writer class and we will say s dot get output stream and we will so first of all what we will do is we will get the user message from this edit text and then send it to our async task class all right so let's see how we can achieve that so first of all we will initialize our uh, edit text i am trying to make this video as much smaller as i uh, uh, as possible all right so i will be a bit fast here edit text all right so now what we will do on button click we say public void send so here what we will say message sender new message sender and we will first of all pass this and the set all right okay let me remove that and we say message sender dot execute and in here we will pass e1 dot get text dot to string all right so now it's giving me an error so what i will do first of all i will say here string and i will also change it to string and i will uh, okay let's say it's void all right so now here we will receive the value so we will we will say 
same message equals to void of one or white or you can say void of zero i am not sure about it so we will say uh, check it later so now we will say pw dot write and in here we will say message dot get byte or if we just print the message yes now we will just flush uh, the print writer and then we will close it and then finally we will close the socket all right this is the code very simple we have created a socket we have given the uh, ip address and then we have given the port number on which our server is uh, on which our server is running all right it's very simple so now the error is gone so now i will open netbeans all right to create my server which will receive the message from android in the meantime let me open my android manifest file and here we will need the permission of internet all right so now our uh, netbeans is running so uh, i have basically this uh, code all right so let me show you what is the code is doing so we have this um, frame layout uh, sorry we have this j frame all right and we have the source code here so uh, man method is uh, this all right so we in the man method what we are doing we are initializing this uh, server socket here all right the, so let me show you this is the server socket all right so here what we are doing it is listening to a port number the port number which we have provided here, here let me show you this one 7800 so okay so we will change this to 7800 all right so it will accept the uh, tcd connection all right with the accept method then it will create a new input stream reader and let me show you uh, it will uh, print the message let me see the j text area so the message will be saved in the j text area all right so now what we will do let's see if it's working or not so guys my android phone is now getting con uh, getting connected all right so now our uh, my android is running so now here what we will say we will just run our uh, server let me see if it is running or not yes it is running now all right so now let me run my android uh, device first of all i will go to main activity and in here we will say an on click method send and then we just run the our application So now guys as you guys can see our application is running so if I write hi and click on send as you guys can see this message all right if I write here how are you and when I click on send as you guys can see I am able to send messages from my Android to this uh, Java Swing application all right so guys in my next video i will show you how to send data back from your um, android uh, uh, sorry swift uh, swing application to your android phone all right so please watch the video 
एंड इफ़ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू गुड बाय